full setup for it. I do. Okay. Let's start about. Let's start it off. Do you have a gaming system? Have you had one before? Well, back when Dr. D Nice was a young high schooler, the gaming systems that were around were. Here we go. I got them for you. It was. Do you know what? Know what that's called? I know y'all don't know nothing about this. This is the Coleco Vision. That's the gaming system we had. If you didn't have the Coleco Vision, this was the Atari 5200 with its cartridge in place already. And then there was the Atari 2300. Did you all have a gaming system? Well, we didn't. We ain't have no gaming system. And we begged and we pleaded and we asked. And I, when I say we, I have an older brother. He's just a year and a half older than me. And actually, we were in the same grade going through school. I skipped grades when I was younger and we were in the same grade. Okay, that's long story. That's focus, focus, focus. Me and my brother, I have a younger sister too, but she, you know, she didn't count right then what she wanted. But we, we were in high school and we wanted a gaming system. And we're like, we want the Atari. And we didn't want just any Atari. We wanted the super Atari, the Atari 5200. And my parents, they got it for us. They got it for us for Christmas. Man, that was exciting. We, it, and you know, each of the games, they came with like a standard game. I think our, our was like this Pac-Man, came with Pac-Man. And we, we were playing our, playing our Pac-Man. And this was back in the day. You all see the cartridge. Let me let me see. The, you see the cartridge sticking out of it? That's how you play them. And the cartridges were expensive. They were like, I don't know, maybe like 50, 60 bucks. There were a lot already. The price was high for the back in the day. Most of us only had one cartridge. But this is what we did. We had friends on the block and we had trade cartridges with each other. But here is where my brother and I messed up. We'll call him C. This is what C and I, how, oh, this is how C and I messed up. We asked for the 5200 because we wanted the best and the brightest. But guess what? Everybody on the block had the 20, the 3600. Do you see the problem there? We could not trade cartridges with anybody there was just one guy that lived way he was probably about i mean we say way maybe it wasn't way way but it was way it wasn't across the street he was about like 10 blocks or so from us and that was the only person that we could trade cartridges cartridges with because everybody that was close to us all our friends had the 2600 we messed up. We thought the best, we needed the best one, the most expensive one, the latest, greatest, and it didn't work out. We were just stuck with our one cartridge, except for the days that we could walk and connect with that my guy way down the street. And that's what, this was before cell phones, this one, it was not convenient. Let me just explain it to you all. Listen, the latest, greatest, most expensive is not always the best. Remember that. Wisdom understands that increased tech does not necessarily mean increased convenience. The same, you can sometimes get the same exact thing for a less price. You can get something with less features, features that will work out better for you that you'll end up using more in the long run and not being stuck with this Atari 5200 with only one game that you could play where nobody else has it. You could be stuck. You could, when you're wise, you understand that latest greatest is not always the best. And then there is stupidness. <laughs> Not you. Mm -hmm. You want it bigger. 
You want it better. You want it larger, newer, stronger, whatever features. Just so you can floss. Let's be honest. And, you know, if I had to look back, I think we just wanted to floss. <laughs> well, it was two of us. One machine, for two. we had to get the 52. Wrong decision. Anyway, there you have it. Wisdom, chippedness. Choose wisdom. And remember, show me your brightest. Show me your best. Show me the latest guru. God's wisdom lets theirs look like stupidness. <laughs>